Carlos Alcaraz could be forced out of Acapulco with injury, costing him the chance to try and overtake Novak Djokovic in the rankings. Carlos Alcaraz's bid to battle Novak Djokovic for the number one ranking could be in jeopardy after the teenager picked up an injury in his Rio Open final against Cameron Nori. The world number two is now set to undergo tests in Acapulco as he waits to learn whether he will be able to compete at this week's ATP 500 event, where he could surpass Djokovic in the rankings depending on the Serbs' results in Dubai. Alcaraz looked set to tie Djokovic's number of ranking points at the Rio Open as he reached the final as the defending champion and led Nori by a set and break. But the Spaniard needed to lift the title to draw level with the world number one and ended up losing 5-7-6-4-7-5 after tweaking his leg in the second set, an injury that could now ruin his rankings battle with Djokovic again this week. The 19-year-old could return to number one in the world next Monday depending on how far Djokovic gets in the draw of the Dubai Championships compared to Alcaraz's own results in Acapulco, but the seven-time title winner could be stopped from competing in Mexico this week after picking up a fresh injury. Alcaraz is now said to be awaiting an ultrasound for the injury to see whether he can compete. According to Marca, the world number two traveled to Mexico on Monday morning with his physio Juan Moreno. Alcaraz is now set to have an ultrasound on Tuesday to determine the extent of the injury as he is keen to compete if circumstances allow, though it will be a tight turnaround with his first match scheduled for Tuesday evening. Alcaraz is set to face Mackenzie McDonald in his opening match at the ATP 500 event, with the tricky American sending an injured Rafael Nadal packing in the second round of the Australian Open last month. But the top seed could be forced to pull out at the 11th hour depending on the results of the tests on his right thigh. The 19-year-old has already admitted that the injury appears to be in the same place that was affected in January, which at the time forced him to pull out of the Australian Open. I felt pain in the same muscle where I had the injury last month, he told reporters in Rio after losing to Nori. It's hard. I have tried to play at my best level despite that setback. When you are injured, that affects your game, because when you are not well you have to do something different and risk more than necessary. I tried to be more aggressive and finish the points faster, but against an opponent like Nori, who is very tough, it's difficult to win. The Rio Open marked just the second tournament of Alcaraz's comeback from back-to-back -back injuries, as he also tore an abdomen muscle before picking up the leg injury that forced him to miss the Australian Open in January. And the Spaniard has a tight schedule in the coming weeks even if he is forced to miss the Rio Open. with Indian Wells starting next month and being followed by the second Masters of the Year in Miami. Ahead of the Sunshine Double, Alcaraz is also set to star in The Slam on March 5, an exhibition event in Las Vegas where he will face the winner of a clash between Americans Taylor Fritz and Francis Tiafo. He will then defend semi-final points in Indian Wells and the title in Miami.